When you approach the Mustang, you immediately get a feel of like, wow, we've really upped the bar with the materials that we're offering and the quality of materials. We are absolutely relentless at going after the best execution, the best quality of materials. We have a lot of attention to detail, the textures, the material quality, the colors. The strategy that we took was authentic premium materials. We're offering our customers a whole range of colors from our core colors, our basic colors like blacks, whites, silvers, grays, and we're also offering very expressive, bold, powerful colors like our race red, tinted clear coat reds. Uh, we have a brand new yellow that's really special. We have an orange, blue, and then we have some sophisticated colors as well because we know colors are very personal to people depending on who they are and how they want to express themselves. When you open the door, wow, that is the coolest interior that I've seen. Everything is real aluminum, real plated parts, real metal, plated chrome, plated satins. So when you sit in it, you have an experience that's tough, that's expressive, that's of quality, and that's actually fun to drive. So at the beginning of the program, we, we start off with a slew of ideation sketches. And what we do uh, in this exploration phase is really try and flush out what are the most appropriate design elements for the car. So we developed three final uh, design themes represented here in these images. Ultimately, we went here with, uh, with theme A, as this really represented perhaps more the, the, the brutal side of, of the three design themes. But, but there were elements of some of the other themes that really influenced the, the final design. Everything on this car is brand new. Every single part we designed, we reinvented. There's a lot of key elements which we took and got inspired from our heritage. And there's a, certainly a bloodline running through the entire car. We talk about this punching out quality, this, this fist breaking through glass or punching through the wind. And the whole front end was really developed around this theme. And that's been a historical cue from Mustang since day one. You can see the dominant shark nose bite which we actually took from our 64 and a half and through the 69. You can see our headlights came much more forward, so I have this um, forward-facing look, and our nose is very proud. You can see the, the whole silhouette, what we did for the new car, basically we moved the entire cabin rearward. So that gives you actually a longer hood and, and creates a, a more selfish greenhouse cabin for the, for the driver, and, and it gives you that 64, 65 look of the car. We were really looking at, at all the design elements and how we could evolve them to send a, a new modern message. And we ultimately ended up along this theme here with this, what we call a unified DLO graphic, which stands for daylight opening, i.e. the side glass. And once we came to this conclusion, it really helped to, to modernize the car and just bring it into a, uh, a new dimension. It also helped to uh, really set up a fastback profile for us. We made the rear track wider, pulled the haunch rear outboard, and, and, and then we made the backlight narrower so you, in order to achieve that really wide fender, which gives you that muscle car look. We, we pulled the, the wheels out 20 millimeters per side, and that really allowed us to get a, a very, very strong muscular haunch over the rear wheels. What we also said, we want to have a three-dimensional quality on this car. If you look at all the surfacing through the decklet, it's, it's very three-dimensional. It's very unique. And I think the taillights, we took the next step. We got inspired by 69 cars, but we did it in a very modern way. You'll be able to identify this car from miles down the road just with those tri-bar taillamps illuminated at night. And it's unmistakable Mustang.